The holiday season is the time for giving, and local nonprofits are certainly in need of your help. Here to talk about this is Communities and Schools Central Texas CEO, Suki Steinhauer, Steinhauser. Suki, thanks for joining us. Oh, it's a pleasure, Mike. Thank you. You know, Communities and Schools supports low-income students to stay in school and to succeed. Why is it important for the community to give back now? Our students have been through so much. Just this ongoing nature of the pandemic has created a lot of need. And so we all need to step up and help students make sure that their basic needs are met and they're getting the health care and housing support and um, counseling that is needed to readjust to the new reality that we're that we're still a little bit stuck in. So the needs are so great that it's more than any one nonprofit or even the whole nonprofit community can can handle. So the whole community needs to get behind making sure students and families are successful. Could you talk about some of the ways communities and schools helps children and where donations go? You know, every year we start off, um, Communities and Schools starts the year making sure that kids get the school supplies that they need. You know, we want them to have the right start to the school year. But during the pandemic, we were helping students to get Chromebooks and um, um, internet access, making sure that they got food. During the ice storm, we were helping with whatever was was needed to make sure that kids were not suffering and that they could concentrate on the school year. And so in addition to making sure that students' emotional needs are, are met and their, their health is, um, is, is good, we wanna make sure that they have their physical needs met as well. So we created the Student and Family Assistance Fund way back when this pandemic first hit us. And that fund can be used for everything from school supplies to food to special needed items that are getting in the way of students learning so that we can be adaptive and provide the help that kids really need. You know, you already touched on it, but I wanna ask, you know, the pandemic and at-home learning created barriers for a lot of students. You know, how did communities and schools adapt to these differing circumstances? Mm -hmm. Well, while kids were virtual, and most of them are back at school now, but while kids were virtual, we also conducted service services in a virtual way. So we got on Zoom with kids the same as the teachers did. Sometimes we even joined their classes to make sure that we were staying connected with them. So we did a lot of virtual work and we made sure that they had those hotspots or whatever they needed to connect. But as time has gone by, we've done way more family connection. We've, we really are spending a lot of time and effort on staying connected with parents during this period. So that means phone calls to parents, sometimes it's porch visits, just making sure that they know that we're there to help them because um, they're, they're the parents, they have the children with them all the time. Um, now we're all back at school, but still there's there's lingering needs um, that we see. Kids, kids really need to feel comfortable coming back to school. And with that long period of absence, there was a lot of anxiety. And because they were isolated for so long, once they've come back, that that isolation can lead to anxiety and depression. So we're really focused on that as well these days. How can people help out and support communities and schools and the students there? What's the best way? I'm so glad you asked. We, um, in addition to making a donation online to our Student and Family Assistance Fund, will be, which will be used where it's needed the most, it's also important that the community step up and volunteer. We have wonderful programs for mentoring and tutoring and reading buddies with younger kids, helping to develop their literacy. And we're not just in Austin ISD, although we serve many schools in Austin, but our hundred schools are divided around, uh, um, spread out between Austin ISD, Maynard, Elgin, Bastrop, Lockhart, Hayes, and San Marcos. So we are serving a lot of, you know, just a huge portion of Central Texas. And so there's volunteer opportunities as well as the opportunity to provide financial support for children and their families. Okay. Suki Steinhauser, CEO of Communities, Communities and Schools, thank you very much for talking with us. We appreciate it. I appreciate y'all and your viewership.